Hey, good morning, Chris. Good morning, Wayne. Yes, we are. We're in the rainforest. And that's always a big Cleveland favorite uh, during the winter because the rainforest is warm and you feel the sun and you have your vitamin D. And plus, we have awesome little characters like these otters. But when you look at it, Jimmy's going to show you a great shot. One of the reasons why Jimmy's getting a great shot is because uh, during the time off, you guys added these new panels, correct? Yes, we, we added these panels, and they're, they're really to protect the otters. Mm -hmm. uh, the otters are a species that are susceptible to COVID, so we wanted to be sure that they were protected uh, uh, from, the, uh, from pe people visiting uh, the rainforest, and uh, so that's why we put these panels up. That's interesting that you guys figured out that these guys are susceptible to COVID-19. Mm -hmm. it, it, was that something you had to do? as a whole when we talk about i mean you have so many different oh, types right. of animals here at the zoo these are just one of gosh probably hundreds you know right if not thousands it, when you start including the spiders and the and the and the, the frogs and the fish exactly. and the, we can just go on and on and on can't we yeah well uh, our veterinarians were on top of what uh, species would potentially be uh, susceptible to uh, covid uh, one thing that's kind of been in the news is uh, cats mm -hmm. uh, there's been a number of large cats in some other zoos that have been tested positive for COVID. But otters are another one of those species that are su potentially susceptible. So that's why we put up this protection. That is just amazing. I mean, who would have thunk, <laughs> you know, five years ago if you said, hey, you're going to have to test your animals mm. for COVID and make adjustments exactly. to all the, the habitat. I mean, how amazing is that and mind boggling for us? And especially for you guys. Uh, yeah, it's, you know, it's a bizarre time and uh, we're, you know, we, of course, we have to worry about ourselves of and our course. employees, but we also have to be concerned about our animals and that's mm -hmm. uh, uh, something that we you know, obviously take very seriously. Yeah, that's great. Well, uh, fortunately for you guys, these guys look very, very happy and oh, looking yeah. at all of them, I don't think, uh, knock on wood, everybody's healthy. No one, no one has caught, any, ca caught anything, so th that's good. Yeah, no, it, it, they're all doing great. Uh, this is our otter family, and uh, we have mom and dad and three offspring uh, mm -hmm. in this in this group. And uh, actually, two uh, two of the three are actually from a different litter, so it's kind of oh, like wow. an uh, extended family, so to speak. The Brady Bunch. The Brady Bunch, yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. And, of course, we're dating ourselves saying the Brady Bunch. Right, we just right, lost yeah. all the millennials right Marcia, there. Marcia, 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 right? <laughs> Marcia, Marcia, Marcia. <laughs> all right, we're here. At the uh, Cleveland uh, Metro Park Zoo Rainforest, where they have made some really great adjustments and some improvements uh, uh, during the, the pandemic. And we're going to talk about a lot of those when we come back. But right now, we're going to stay on these very, the Brady Bunch otters right here at the rainforest. All right, yeah. back to you guys in the studio. Well, they sure are cute. Yeah, they are. <laughs> Thanks, they are, Kenny. They are cute.